Hello and welcome back to the farm in Sosnovka. Let's play Farming Simulator 15. It's been uh, a week or so since the last time I recorded, and uh, I haven't done anything in the meantime because I've been busy trying to catch up with uh, National Novel Writing Month, which is going okay. It's doable. It's certainly doable. Uh, <clears throat> but... Um, to be honest, it's going to be tough to catch up. So I'm uh, taking a little bit of break from writing, play some Farming Simulator 15 here, and deal with the crappy frame rate again. And, uh, let's actually, before we uh, take some crops to the uh, thingamajig, let's check and see how much we got. Okay, we got... Um, Let's take one load of wheat. Um, I like to make sure I always have at least uh, a little bit of each crop in <coughs> in storage. So uh, wheat. Let's fill it up. <coughs> and um, yeah, I haven't done anything on the farm since uh, last episode. No harvesting, no uh, nothing. So, uh, pretty much where we left off. Okay, let's actually check prices real quick. Uh, probably going to be the bakery is our best bet. Ooh, wheat is up, so we're going to get a little bit better than we would have uh, a little bit ago. Yeah, 13.60. So let's take this over to the bakery, which is this away. And am I jackknifed a little bit? So in this episode, I'm planning on uh, harvesting a little bit. You know, only got sixty thousand dollars in the bank. Um, I did get a loading wagon in the last. Uh, in the time of the last episode, at least. So I'm going to start doing straw on the fields. And maybe get a little extra money for that. Um, every little bit helps this early in the game. So I'm just going to head over here to the bakery and drop this stuff off. Uh, let's see, we get 1,300 a ton. We got 15 tons, 15 times... Uh, 1.3 is, uh, 1.3 fail. Um, is my weight too big? Yeah, I think my weight is a little big for hopping that, uh, that, uh, lip thing. I'm not sure you how to record a course for the fertilizer sprayer once I get um, I didn't I could fertilize uh, 19 first I already recorded the course for um, field number 14 and I did that in the episode that had the bad audio problems so that footage is gone and the course just magically appeared so I will see if I can Do a little recording of that. And let's see here. I'm pretty sure I haven't done any fertilizing on any of the fields yet. I know I haven't done 14 because that one uh, just got done planting. So let's drop this puppy off. And let's see. We might actually hook the sprayer up to this guy because, if I remember right, it has the horsepower. It has the technology. And let's drop this guy off. <coughs> let's just run over here. Do -do -do. I 
is, is it even planted? Yes, it's planted. It just needs to be fertilized. Actually, it's not planted yet. Let's just drive over here. So, I'll get back to you, I guess, when this guy is finished and I'm ready to record that fertilizer course. So we'll go hook up the fertilizer to this guy and fertilize field number 14 in the meantime. And I'll see you then. Actually, I decided against what I was originally going to do. And I'm going to go sell this thing. I hooked it up to the sprayer and immediately the front wheels left the ground. So I thought it had enough guts to take care of the... Uh, of the sprayer, but it apparently doesn't. So while um, you can see there on field number 14, that worker is spraying the field. I'm gonna go sell this thing, uh, trade it in for the New Holland, uh, the smaller New Holland Power Star. Um, so I, I figured if we're gonna have a 75 horsepower tractor like this at least we need to get something that we can hook up a front loader to and you know make it earn its keep a little bit because this thing all I can do with it is pull the trailer maybe and um, work the cedar so yeah uh, I figured I might as well get something a little bit more useful around here so I'm gonna go to the shop here and to sell this. <sighs> and clean or dirty, there's no difference in price. I wish, kind of, that you could get a little bit higher price if you cleaned it. But uh, currently there is no real incentive to clean your equipment. Uh, it gets dirty and stays dirty and there's no no ramifications or anything and let's just walk in here access the shop and we have a hundred and fourteen thousand dollars sixty four thousand dollars for the T-475 Power Star same horsepower it's probably a little bit more expensive uh, maintenance wise oh it's less expensive maintenance wise okay deal <laughs> and then we got 50,000 so while we're here we might as well invest in a front loader and what should we get 18 Hmm. Uh, actually, we could start doing some missions. Need to get a wait for the back, but uh, let's see here. I'm gonna get a universal bucket for it. Well, actually, no. Let's just get the pallet fork. Uh, and why is my the dead zone must be having issues on my left joystick because was a okay so now we can hey my um, sprayer has finished work my cultivator I mean my cedar is why is the button working bring up the map Look, you can see on field 19 the little steering wheel my cedar is still working so uh, let me Pick the right. There we go. There. Uh, so let's drive this guy over here, and let's beep beep beep, de, 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 de. and right there. Let's attach that. There we go. And let's. I said back up. Uh. 
And let's drive forward and let's get this pallet fork locked on there. Cool. So now we have a tractor with a front loader. So let's drive this back over. And I'll get back to you when I'm ready to record the course for the fertilizing field 19. Alright, I figured this, why this guy is, uh, I figured out why this guy is going so slow. He's cruise control down in the bottom right hand corner is set to 6 miles per hour. So let's uh, unhire him for a moment. And let's turn that up. That's uh, one of the things that course play does to control the vehicle speed. It monkeys with the vanilla cruise control mechanics. And then you wind up getting people who are locked in to 6 miles an hour to plant the field instead of 8 miles an hour. So, yeah. It's just one more thing you gotta watch out for. But it's still worth it to get course play, even though it's tedious sometimes. Alright, this guy is finally done, so let's go park the cedar and then park the machine and then we will hook up the or the um, other guys already in position there to record the course so we'll just park the cedar and go hook the trailer up to this thing uh, since it has more horsepower than the power star and then we'll get to recording the course play course and I park all my equipment over here in this uh, shelter here in the pole barn. And let's turn this guy around. Let's get out of the cockpit. And. When you get to a uh, recording course here, you want to put it on this setting, which is called um, Fertilizing and Seeding. And uh, you're going to want to zoom out so you can see the whole uh, length of the uh, working width, um, whole length of the boom on the sprayer. And you're going to want to start course recording and then set a wait point where you want to start the uh, work. And if you don't do that, then you're never going to have the course start. And so you want to just drive along, um, try and hit all the area you can, and uh, you are going to go back and forth and back and forth until you get to uh, the end of the field and I'm going to do headland on this one. Yeah. So I'll fast forward to the end real quick. And then um, tell you what to do from there. Okay, now what you're going to do is, for the first strip of headland, just turn and cover whatever you didn't cover before. And for speed's sake, I'm just going to turn it off and on as necessary. And then just go to the end of the row here. And then what you're going to do is start your turn maneuver. And what this does is it turns off the machine and it will drive to 
the next point and it will uh, let's actually start it over here so let's end our turn maneuver right here uh, and now turn it back on and let's get this spot we missed and then just drive along the field here get the rest of it and that's all there is to the field work itself then after you've finished your headland and I'm just gonna drive to the end of the row here headland is basically um, basically uh, it's perpendicular to the rest of the field uh, work and so now we are done so let's put our wait point here and that signals the end of the field work and at this point if there is still um, juice in the sprayer it will uh, say that whatever tractor it is has finished work and that will prompt you to come and collect your tractor if it runs out on the other hand it will go to the second waiting point and begin what we were about to record right now. This is called the unloading course. So it will uh, follow this course right here back to the fertilizer dispenser thingamajig and it'll uh, once you get there it'll uh, refill the sprayer and uh, then it'll drive back to the start point so we drive through here and all the while the boom is going to be folded up so you don't have to worry about space <coughs> so I like to drive under here to unload the fertilizer and then let's just drive out here and back to the start point. Let's see if I can make it without hitting these signs. Uh, actually, I'm going to pause and delete those last few waypoints because I don't want to go through the uh, silage bunker for the cows. <coughs> so let's uh, go back a ways. Let's go back to this one. Unpause. Oops. And let's go this way. And even though the silage bunker is going to be a better route overall, I think, um, it's often going to have stuff in it, and that's going to mess up the course play driver. So then you just drive back to your start point here, and you want to get the same general direction and the same orientation or the same general spot and the same orientation. And uh, then you just finish the recording and it's ready to go. Uh, and then let's save this. Fertilize. 19... 40... no. Uh, 24 meter. And that's all she wrote. So the harvest is done and uh, through the magic of editing I will present to you a fully uh, mature and ready to harvest field all right we're back we don't have a fully mature field yet because I forgot to turn plant growth back on while I was speeding through time but uh, you see that flashing icon on the map for the village grain elevator that means there's a high demand for something or other. I saw uh, the thing pop up that said there was a high demand for wheat. And uh, since I had some wheat left over, I decided, heck, let's just load up the rest of the wheat we got and take it over there. So we currently have no wheat and we are going to get uh, $1,600 per ton. And we're going to get about 10000 out of this. Uh, uh, actually a little over 12,000. 
So, uh, let's just drive over there. And... <clears throat> I've never been to the Village Green Elevator, so... This is a new experience for me. Uh, oh, it's pretty easy to uh, find. It's over by the shop. You'll notice that it's snowing right now. This is one of the two weather conditions where you can't harvest, um, or you can't thresh with your combine during rain or snow. And so, let's see. That's not a path. Okay. So, let's uh, swing around here. And... Oh dear, I almost lost control there. And, uh, let's just pop in here. You can see the uh, unloady dewy thing straight ahead. And... Cool. And we'll unload our trailer. Watch the cash rake in. How much did we get? Thirteen thousand five sixty. Not bad at all. Um huh. let's see here. Let's take this road... where is it? Aha! Let's take this road under the bridge and see where it comes out. And just do a little exploring uh, while the plants are growing and I'll speed time back up since I am out of wheat. Normally the fastest you can go is 120 times but uh, and that's uh, twice real time but I do have a mod that allows me to go somewhere around 15,000 times so I can pass two days in <laughs> just a few seconds which is pretty cool saves a lot of time uh, in the long run oh wooden bridge rickety rickety rotten crappy wooden bridge uh, let's see here uh, this is uh, this is gonna be Touch and go here. <laughs> and uh, I was watching... Yeah, let me turn this off for a sec. I was watching... Um, Bill's T-Max started a, a series on this map on his Farm Sim Saturday videos. And... Oh, cool. We're back. And um, he actually drove into the... Uh, into the pond and <clears throat> he got his tractor stuck he had to reset it to the farm uh, normally you would go in fish it out replace the engine because driving into the pond you get hydro locked but in this game we can just you know cheat and uh, reset so let's uh, drop off the trailer right here uh, and let's pull this tractor out and let's uh, go hop in this tractor, hook the trailers back up, and let's, uh, okay. let's get this thing hooked back up. And then let's just unhook them both because our Deutz Far tractor is going to be a lot more powerful for hauling the two trailers full of wheat when we finally get around to harvesting. And I want to finish out the video with a maybe a time lapse of the harvest, but if it ever if it doesn't ever stop snowing then I don't know okay let's park here parking brake engine off let's put it back in first and let's go back here 
to the sky. Oh, you can see them. The uh, crops are starting to um, starting to sprout, and in a few days they'll be, or in about 24 hours actually, since I set it to fast plant growth, they'll be uh, ready to harvest. So we will drive this guy over. Uh, let's load our combine unloading course. Let's see here. Green 19. And let's uh, let's just set our combine here and uh, drive the course. And it's going to stay parked there until this guy gives the signal to do otherwise and as soon as I get this guy in position I'm gonna go ahead and speed up time like crazy even faster than it is now so okay it's in position Thankfully, uh, fuel is consumed in real-time hours rather than um, in-game time. So, keep your eye on the clock in the upper, le upper right. I've got to fix this joystick. Twelve thousand times. And... Let's stop right there. And let's check our map. And our two fields, 14 and 19, are ready to harvest, and voila, there they are. are both harvested. I forgot to turn on straw, but whatever. Uh, so, <coughs> what I'm going to do is, uh, I think, go and fill this up the rest of the way with wheat, and go take a uh, load to the bakery. Let's see here, get the other trailer under here, do 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 Get under the... There we go. And... As soon as I'm done with this, I guess that'll be the end of the episode, and we'll do a little bit of straw next time. Maybe get a baler, and uh... Let's see. Yeah, I should uh, get my hands on a baler and get a uh, a bale spike for my skid steer, and then we can get some straw taken care of here, and then we'll uh, make some extra money. 
or we can take the straw uh, to some, I don't know, some place and uh, feed it to the cows. Um, let's see here. Uh, this is just uh, kind of a really slow episode. And, uh, yeah. Not a whole lot to do here in the earlier stages of the game. Nothing fun, at least. Kind of like Minecraft, you know? You, you start, you punch trees, and then you get wood tools, and then you mine some stone, and then you get stone tools. And then, little by little, you keep building up your resources until you can build these grand cathedrals and, you know, go and defeat any mob that comes to attack you. But for the first uh, little bit, it's... It's not very fun, so... Alright. <clears throat> so let's unload our first trailer. I actually kind of want to invest in a bigger combine. Um, let's look at our money here. Insert key. So, I am 50 grand in debt, and I can borrow more. I don't care to do that. Uh, it's... Not quite like in Euro Truck Sim 2, when you borrow money, it'll, it'll take out um, a certain amount of money per day from your bank account. In here, you just pay interest. So, it's a yeah, kind of lightweight simulation. But, here we go. Last a little bit, and... Drive back to the farm. First, let me check prices on our uh, combine stuff here. Okay, so if I wanted to get the next one up, it's 342 grand. That's a lot. Um, I kind of want to get my hands on this so I can start doing some silage. Uh... 229. Actually, you know what? That might be the next combine I buy. I can make some silage. This one... Actually... It's 490 horsepower. I think I might get this one next, the Axial Flow 7130. It's a nice combine, and it's a good size for what we're working with. Uh, first let me compare the headers. The one I currently have is this smaller Rossamash. It is 7 meters. This one's 9. Uh, let's look at the forage harvester. 6 meters for that. That's better than the uh, 1 meter putting your Let's see here. So this one, the header is going to be ten and a half meters. That is definitely the one that I'm going to get for the next uh, the next combine, and that is yeah. Next time, probably going to get this with the. 6 meter um, corn header. Plant some corn and uh, all that. I also installed um, a new mod. A modded version of the Krona Big X uh, from the Krona Big X Beast Pack. And um, I don't know what the differences are this one has a gearbox, but I already have some gearbox stuff going, so let's just, uh, anything on sale? Oh, that's Massey Ferguson's on sale. So, we also have modded headers for the Krona Big X Beast Pack. Uh, modded header trailer. What do we got here? Uh, that's 
Mars. Same thing. Uh, so this is... Hmm. These are new. Uh, I don't know what mod they're a part of. Probably the Krona Big X Beast Pack. Uh, what do we got here? Ah, here we go. So this is a cargo trailer for the Big X, which is pretty sweet. And looks like we've got... Yeah, looks like we got a lot of trailers for um, the Man TGS. Ah, here we go. So the Corona Big X Beast Pack came with this truck here, which is a little bit bigger, more powerful than the vanilla one. How much is it? 350 or so. Let's... Oops. Let's go back to the trucks here, the vanilla. Yeah, this is going to be the one that I get first, and then probably the other one, and then this one over here. So, yeah, that's uh, for the future. So I will uh, leave you right here. If you like this video, please click on the like button. Really appreciate your support. Uh, if you want to see more of this series, click on subscribe. And also, be sure to leave a comment if you uh, want to uh, say something. So I will uh, catch you next time. And we'll do some straw and uh, maybe some more work with the front loader. Bye-bye!